the reason there's dry ice and there's also tanky. I was gonna say, did you hear that singing? That it's none other than tanky here. <laughs> Uh, the diva of deliciousness, yeah. of course. Food writer tinkycooks.com, also operatic sensation. Beautiful. Hello, Tinky. Good morning. How are you guys doing? Good. Good. How are you? You just, every time I see you, I just smile. Well, you make I me so happy. Right back at you, kiddo. Uh, and I don't know if we can get a, a tight enough shot. There's a fine feathered friend on your hat, Well, correct? this is my, this is this year's <laughs> Halloween hat. Yes, of course it is. Uh, Look at that. Yeah. Oh, there it is. Turn yeah, to the side. Sort of turn to the side. Yeah, there we go. It's a crow. Really show it off. Ah. In all its glory. <laughs> can we talk about cauliflower soup? Let's talk about Let's it. Talk Let's talk about make it. it. I can do that I'm too. ready to make You could use a sweet potato or you anything. You could use whatever, around. yeah, whatever will give it depth and Roasted color and fun. Root vegetables. Yeah, exactly. And then I took my garlic and I wrapped it in a little piece of aluminum foil, it's now released, and drizzled a little olive oil. So these are all roasted with olive oil at 425 for about half an hour. And then I'm smushing the oh, garlic. Look at that it's garlic on the part. That's great. Now we I put these garlic. all in a saucepan. Alrighty. After, now, this is before or after they've been roasted? After they have been roasted. Okay. I mean, you could probably start with them raw and just cook the soup longer, but first of all, I just love the way the roasting makes the house smell. Yes, and on a so cold day, it's going to help uh, heat up your house yeah, a and bit, Yeah, and it gives them that, just that added depth of flavor, a tiny bit of caramelization. You're not... You don't have to cook them all the way through so they're not black, but there's a little bit of brown on everything. Yeah. Now, how long do we saute this and with what other ingredients? We don't saute, but okay. we, we just, you'll see. Hang on. Sorry. Tune in to find okay. out. Yeah. Sorry. Okay, there are vegetables. Now, the, this is vegetable stock. You could use chicken stock. You could probably use water. Okay. I'm just using vegetable stock for Whatever today. Whatever you have. Curry powder. Now, I'm using just the tiniest bit of curry powder because it turns out that the curry powder I have in the house is I was going to say, hers is extremely super hot. You can, I don't know if you can see how red it is, but that's yeah. because of cayenne. Uh, Paprika-esque. Yes. So it's going in. A little cumin seed because I love my cumin. Mm -hmm. A little salt. And then to kind of soften the curry and also just give it depth of flavor, a little honey. And the good thing about this recipe is since you're cooking it, you can use your goopy, disgusting... It's not disgusting, it's disgusting. just... Disgusting? I love honey, but this honey has been in the house for a little while. You and can it use kind your, of, what's your... Older honey. Older honey. You seasoned use, honey. Your, your veteran oh, honey. seasoned is such a good word. There we go. Okay. Bam. Then we're going to cook that, simmer that covered for half an Today's hour. It's a good day. <laughs> right. He's so happy. It is great because he's going to have cocktails. It's not for me. I know. <laughs> no, 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 no. Then we are... When it's finished, mm -hmm. it's going to... You can see that even though I put the tiniest oh, bit delicious. of curry powder in it, smells it's delicious. So then we do the <clears throat> stand back, please. <laughs> stand okay. by. Get your safety goggles on, everybody. Whoa, whoa! In all seriousness, I thought I well, thought you I, were joking. No, I'm not a very good immersion blender. Get the pen. Let me, let me get in on this. Yeah, Tinky. you guys let me get just... in on this. What is going on yeah, here? Yeah, we need a shield. I'm Mars holding up the cookie sheet. <laughs> well, it's better. I made half a recipe and half a recipe. If you had a whole recipe, it would kind of fill oh, no up the doubt. pot better. No oh, doubt. But there's a lot of solid stuff in here. But that's what makes it kind of a thick, hearty soup. And uh, a lot of times, if you want to make a thick, hearty soup. You need to use heavy cream or something like that. This is a We're great not going way. There. I was going to say you don't even have to. This is, a, I would imagine. And there's no potato. There's no rice. This is a, an incredibly healthy soup. It's so yeah. We're going to just about to make it a tiny bit less healthy, but that's all right. Well, you know. You can't have everything. No. Well, okay. And, you know, as long as it's a little I, bit healthy. We're going to pretend it's done. Okay. Yeah, it's like Halloween magic. At the very last minute. Yeah. Because this is a kind of good curry thing. We pour in a little lemon juice. All right. And again, that just changes up the flo flavor profile a little bit. Now, if you will hand me a bowl, please. Okay. Oh, bowl. look how good he is. So we have this lovely thick soup. 
It's so pretty. Yum. It is. Now later you're going to pair the soup with the I dessert. I am, but Isn't let's right? let's let's uh, garnish it. Shall we? So that is yogurt, and just for fun, I put in some herbs. Oh, it makes it look great. And this it was does. my cousin Kate's suggestion because it's very Indian. A little chopped cashew. Is there that we go. Cute. Bam! Look what you got. There it is. We have the lovely soup. Thank and you. yes, it will.